Hey Cosmic Explorers, and welcome back to Chapter in 10. Have you ever stared up at the night sky, seen that shimmering band of light, and wondered, where exactly are we in all of that? We know we're on Earth, in our solar system, but where does that fit into the grand scheme of things? Today, we're going on an incredible journey to discover our cosmic address, zooming out from our tiny blue planet to the edge of our home galaxy, the magnificent Milky Way. And trust me, the scale will blow your mind. Let's start with the basics. What exactly is a galaxy? Imagine a massive cosmic city in space. A galaxy is a huge collection of billions, sometimes even trillions of stars, along with all their planets, vast clouds of gas and dust, and a lot of mysterious, invisible stuff called dark matter. All of this is held together by the incredible force of gravity, spinning through space like a giant celestial merry-go-round. Galaxies come in different shapes. There are beautiful spiral galaxies like giant pinwheels, smooth elliptical galaxies that look like stretched out footballs, and irregular galaxies that don't have a clear shape at all. Each one is a universe of its own, now let's talk about our home galaxy, the Milky Way. It's the stunning barred spiral galaxy where our sun, our earth, and everything we know resides. When you see that milky band of light across a dark night sky, that's literally us looking through the dense disk of our own galaxy. We are inside it, so we can't get a picture from the outside, but scientists have created incredible maps and images of what it likely looks like. The Milky Way is enormous. It's about 100,000 light years across. Remember, a light year is the distance light travels in one year. Imagine that scale. It has a bright central bulge packed with old stars and beautiful sweeping spiral arms where new stars are constantly being born. These arms are part of the main disk of the galaxy. So, if the Milky Way is this gigantic cosmic city, Where's our apartment? Our solar system, with the sun and all its planets, including Earth, is located in one of the Milky Way's smaller spiral arms. It's called the Orion Arm, or sometimes the Orion Cygnus Arm. We're not in the dense, chaotic center, which is probably a good thing. Instead, we're roughly 25,000 light years away from the galactic center, out in a quieter, more peaceful neighborhood Think of it like living in the suburbs of a giant city rather than right downtown. And just like Earth orbits the sun, our entire solar system is orbiting the center of the Milky Way. It takes us an astonishing 240 million years to complete just one full trip around the galaxy. The last time our sun was in this exact spot, dinosaurs were just beginning to appear on Earth. At the very heart of our Milky Way galaxy, in that super dense central bulge, lies something truly incredible and terrifying, a super massive black hole. We call it Sagittarius A star. This isn't just any black hole, it's a giant with a mass equivalent to about four million of our suns. It doesn't suck in the whole galaxy, but its immense gravity dictates the orbits of everything around it. We can't see the black hole itself, but we can see the incredibly fast movements of stars orbiting it, proving its presence. It's the ultimate gravitational anchor for our entire galactic home. Let's zoom in on that supermassive black hole, Sagittarius A. It's not a destroyer, it's a stabilizer. But how did it get so big? We believe that supermassive black holes grow by constantly consuming gas, dust, and even whole stars that stray too close to its immense gravity well. Recently, scientists, using a global network of radio telescopes known as the Event Horizon Telescope, were actually able to capture an image of the shadow of our black hole. It looks like a bright, chaotic donut of light surrounding a perfect circle of blackness. This confirms Einstein's theory and shows us the incredible power at the center of our galactic home, quietly holding 400 billion stars in orbit. 
Our Milky Way isn't alone in the universe. It has neighbors. Our galaxy is part of a small cluster of galaxies called the Local Group. The biggest member is us, the Milky Way, and our colossal sister galaxy, the Andromeda Galaxy. Andromeda is even bigger than the Milky Way, and get this. It's currently hurtling towards us at about 110 kilometers per second. Don't worry, you won't need to evacuate anytime soon. The collision is still about 4.5 billion years away. When it happens, the two galaxies will merge to form one new, massive elliptical galaxy, sometimes nicknamed Milkamida. It's a spectacular cosmic event in our distant future. We know the Milky Way and Andromeda are colliding, but they aren't floating alone. They're the biggest members of our small galactic cluster called the Local Group. This group, containing about 80 galaxies, is gravitationally bound and moving together. But even the Local Group is just a tiny speck in an even bigger structure, the Virgo Supercluster. Imagine a supercluster as a continent of galaxies, Ours contains thousands of galaxies and spans over 100 million light years. And these superclusters are separated by colossal regions of empty space called cosmic voids. These voids are literally the largest structures in the universe, demonstrating the unbelievable emptiness that dominates the cosmos. This hierarchy, from planet to galaxy to supercluster to voids, is the true meaning of cosmic scale. So, we've journeyed from Earth, through our solar system, to our home in the Milky Way, and even met our galactic neighbors in the local group. But remember, this is just one tiny corner of the entire universe. There are billions, if not trillions, of galaxies like the Milky Way out there, each with billions of stars. The observable universe stretches for an unimaginable 93 billion light years across. Our Milky Way is just one tiny speck in this mind-bogglingly vast cosmic tapestry. It truly makes you realize how small, yet how special, our cosmic address is. From our little blue planet, nestled in the Orion arm of the Milky Way, we are part of an unimaginably grand and dynamic universe. Understanding our cosmic address is not just about locations, but about appreciating the incredible scale the powerful forces, and the endless mysteries that surround us. It's a constant reminder of how much there is to explore and learn. What did you find most amazing about our journey through the Milky Way? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed finding your cosmic address, please hit that like button, share this video with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to Chapter in 10 for more fascinating science explorations. Be sure to also check out our dedicated playlist, The Universe Files, for more videos on galaxies, solar systems, and everything in between. Thanks for watching, and keep looking up.